they went ahead and showed Bray Wyatt's Fiend character. Within that mm -hmm. entrance clip, we saw a very revealing giveaway. When Bray Wyatt turned back in the turnbuckle area, we saw Samantha Irving whispering to a bald dude ringside. Looks like the guy that rings the bell. Was. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. So do you think they're going to have the signature entrances with her voice in it? And I'm not talking about just her, her saying on his way to the ring, John Doe, like you said just a second ago on stream, do you feel like there's enough time for them to do like the Chelsea Green signature entrance? Or is this going to be more of like, yeah, her voice is in the game. She's doing the ring announcing for Raw. That's about it. Uh, I'll go first. Honestly, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I would be happy if she got the like the signature entrance for certain people, but I think she just probably since this is her debut, she probably just gonna have like the regular, you know, the thing, you know, type of, you know, type of. Yeah, type the the regular average in game voice. Yeah, over. it's not gonna there be. Go, yeah. Something beyond that. I mean, for 2K24, our expectations are very high now thanks to all the reveals they've had and this one being no different. It was a nice surprise because we were like, oh, we're going to have to wait for Samantha Irvin to be in the game next year. But yep. they showed her already, which I think is great. What do you think, VJ? I, I love it. And I think like maybe there's a little small possibility that she could have her Chelsea Green entrance. All right, MGM, do you think it's realistic to hope for those signature entrances, or should we just expect a regular, you know, oh, it's going to be AJ Styles? <laughs> uh, I think I think in general she'll probably keep it safe. They might let her go, like, a little loose with some of the stars, so, like, Roman might have his... Imperium might have theirs. The Usos might have theirs. I don't know if Chelsea's going to fit into the people that she'll be able to go do an extra with, but for the most part, she'll probably keep it generic, though. Yeah, I think it'll be generic. And you know what? This is a win regardless. She's become a fan favorite. Her voice is iconic. Her power behind every announcement has been felt since she arrived on the main stage. I think she's done exceptionally well. And that's why all the fans are excited to now realize, hey, they're they're putting Samantha Irvin in the game. Like everyone's talking about it now. And I wanted to save it and talk about it in a separate video because last time we talked about, you know, this Bray Wyatt add-on, I kind of just wanted to focus on Bray Wyatt and I wanted to see what you guys had to say ultimately in terms of her being added to the game. For me, I think this is a major win, whether it's generic or specific to the superstar. The fact that we got the Fiend, the ladder match, having a different ladder this year, it's, it's the attention to detail that I'm most enjoying from all these major reveals we've gotten this past week and even tonight while watching Monday Night Raw. It's the subtle changes, the adjustments that they've made, the quality of life, if you will. It just feels like this game is headed not just in the right direction, but we're in that direction right now as we speak, where everything is going right. So last but not least, final guesses. We're going to go down the table here. MGM, is it going to be signature or... Again, I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. We're just going to play the guessing game. Is it going to be signature or generic in terms of her tone of voice? I'm going to stick with what I said. Mostly generic, maybe like two or three mainstream stars with something special. Okay. Carter, what do you think? It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a bad thing to say generic. 
but I feel like starting out is going to be generic, but I feel like they could easily update it and patch something in for Chelsea Green to get a special annunciation. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. They, this is something that it's not bad, right? It, calling it generic doesn't mean it's bad. She's in the game. Her vo Her iconic voice is here. They could definitely patch it in. I agree with you guys, but will it be patched in? Is it necessary to get patched in? Yeah, if they want to make the pre presentation more legit, but I feel like her just being in the game is a good start. What do you think, Keon? Generic or unique? Uh, honestly, I'm going to just stick with generic since this is her first debut of the game. <laughs> okay. Okay. What about you, uh, Trout? Do you think they're going to go with the signature here or this is just going to be, you know, a little signature. generic? I'm going signature. Oh, Trout. Oh, okay. He's going <laughs> with the bold prediction. I mean, it's not a bad time to be bold, right? As a fan of WWE 2K24, you got to notice that it's been, you know, surprise after surprise. We didn't even know she was in the game. The game is coming out in just a couple re weeks, and we just saw her for the first time in Bray Wyatt's entrance. That's that's pretty revealing. Straight is just saying unique. And that's that's definitely something to look out for. That's why I'm doing this, so we could always circle back and see who got the bet right. What about you, VJ? Generic or unique? I, now, I gave everyone a chance. Now I, still, now, I still think there's a small possibility it might get an entrance, but in reality, I think it's going to be generic. Okay. So everyone except for Trout pretty much said gener generic. I mean, Jason in the chat said unique. Straight Edge said unique. Well, we'll wait and see. Chat, let us know in the comment section. What do you think is going down with Samantha Irvin in 2K24? At the end of the day, it's all good because she's in the game. <laughs>